It's a big night of evenings at our light. As across the land, America starts to receive their $1,400 third stimulus check. But if yours has still not arrived, when should you expect it? We have all the tracking details about your $1,400 third stimulus check. Meantime, the big shockers across the board remain the FOMC meeting that could determine future treasury yields and a reaction to bad retail sales announced this morning for the month of February. A new report now says that inflation, not COVID, is the number one concern across the country. But I have new video from the present today that talks about your stimulus checks and arriving. And the great news is that as we start the evening, the date that the president gives you to arrive your stimulus check is faster than anyone had thought before. Is it a misstatement or is it incredible great news? Meantime, a new comparison between President but between President Biden and President Carter. Will Biden go the correct direction or not? I have all the breaking details as Evenings LA gets underway right now. There's a lot of breaking news this evening, and among the breaking news is a surprising new statement from the president today. In a new video released by the president today, he now says everyone, including paper check recipients of the $14 third stimulus check, will get them in 10 days. Wait a second, this is huge, great news. In fact, he's now saying 10 days from when it became law. Well, wait a second, it became a law last Thursday or Friday. So that means paper checks are already in the mail and that people, people are gonna get paper checks by uh, <laughs> in the next 10 days. This is huge. I have all the breaking details. I have a video for you and more. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for making Evenings L8 and Early Mornings L8 back in part of your family. Those shows have been on fire. Last night's Evenings L8 was one of the most watched Evenings L8 ever in the history of this channel. And thank you for tuning in this morning to not one, but two Early Mornings L8 shows that started at 4 a.m., and 4.30 on the West Coast or 7 or 7.30 in the morning on the East Coast. A lot of breaking developments. Let me get to the details right now. In a new video released by the President's White House staff this morning, the President addressed the country and he talked about arrival dates of your $1,400 third stimulus check. Now, let me make this clear in advance of you seeing this video. The President actually says that Americans will receive their stimulus checks in general within 10 days after it becomes law. This is not just the direct deposit recipients, this is everyone else. Let me go over all the details. Direct deposit of the stimulus checks started last Friday. It became law on Thursday. Well, if you add 10 days to last Thursday, that means that everyone in the United States should receive their $14 stimulus check between last Thursday and next week. This includes people on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and rural benefits. This includes people waiting for direct deposit. This includes people waiting for a direct deposit to direct express cards. This includes people waiting for the paper check. This also finally includes people that got a debit card last time and may get a debit card again. This is also really huge news because it also includes the following group. Anyone who may have had an electronic bank account that fails for whatever reason in the first attempt from IRS would then get a paper check shortly thereafter. And this means that everyone in the United States could get their stimulus check by the end of next week. Wow, this is really great news. Now, if you watched early morning's LA Light yesterday, this morning, and you watched Evenings LA, you saw a video that I had from the President of the United States. And in that video, the President talked about 
a hundred days to give you the stimulus check. Now, I'm not going to tee up the entire video for you, but let me show you which video it was. It was this video in which the President of the United States addressed the country. During this video, the President said specifically that he thought that stimulus checks would, a lot, would arrive within a hundred days and vaccinations in a hundred days. Here was a little bit of that video yesterday. This week, on a re I can report this isn't just on the way, it's here, sooner than many ever thought possible. Over the next 10 days, we'll reach two goals, two giant goals. The first is 100 million shots in people's arms will have been completed within the next 10 days, and 100 million checks in people's pockets in the next 100 days. Shots in arms and money in pockets. That's important. The American Rescue Plan is already doing so you see suddenly there, the president started by saying that within 10 days, you two things will be achieved, 100 million doses. And then you think you, he's about to say 10 days, you would get a stimulus check, but he says 100 days, you would get the stimulus check. That certainly was certainly caught by a lot of viewers last night and this morning, and they certainly dropped in the comments, wait a second, why is he saying 100 days for the stimulus check? That caused a lot of confusion and a lot of worries for some viewers. Well, perhaps the White House was watching you and this channel, because the White House issued a new video this morning. And in the new video this morning, the president corrects himself and says 10 days for the stimulus checks, you will get them, not 100 days. Now, this is huge either way, because 10 days, of course, is faster than anyone would have thought for the stimulus check. Let's watch today's video released minutes ago. We're going to reach two goals in the next 10 days. 100 million shots in people's arms. 100 million shots. And 100 million checks of $1,400 or more in people's pockets within the next 10 days. We're on the way. Help is on the way. You see, cl clearly, to ensure that the president's message got out clearly, there not only is audio for this video, but there's actually captioning. And I don't recall any other video on the White, White House's website in the last week in which they actually caption the video. So to show you, yesterday the president clearly may have misspoken when he said 100 days to get a stimulus check but now is saying 10 days to get a stimulus check. Now, this is huge for a lot of different reasons. One, it eliminates uncertainty. Second, it shows a faster timeline for the paper check. And finally, it actually shows a faster timeline for any of those fix-it situations. There's countless fix-it situations, as you know. People who were looking for a direct deposit and then it fails and then it goes to paper check. He's basically said everyone's getting a stimulus check by end of next week. Congratulations. Wow. This is incredible great news. So is it a true statement? We shall find out. Now understand, if you're to buy direct deposit, you're getting the stimulus check this week. You're getting the stimulus check this week. But anyone on paper check or debit card was asking when and where. And we knew under the second stimulus package, the stimulus check took upwards of three weeks to arrive in bank accounts from when it became law. Today, the president's message is very clear. Not three weeks, but 10 days. This is huge. It's basically cutting the entire time frame in half. So will 100 million Americans get stimulus checks in 10 days? We will certainly find out. But I have more about that in a second. Let me cut to the other breaking developments across the board. And they are the FOMC meeting. This is huge. The FOMC meeting refers to the Federal Reserve and this person, Jerome Powell. He will be meeting today and tomorrow, but tomorrow is the day in which his FOMC notes are released. This means everything for your stimulus. What is the Federal Reserve looking at in meeting today and tomorrow? Let me explain very clearly what's going on. Throughout this pandemic, the Federal Reserve has been providing stimulus to this economy in two ways. One, buying treasuries, which are bonds. Second, buying mortgages, which would support this economy. And third, keeping interest rates flat, meaning it's cheap for everything. Cheap to borrow, cheap for debt, everything keeping everything calm. Well, 
a series of reports going into today's meetings and tomorrow's major release of those notes suggests that the Federal Reserve may drop the first two items, the support mechanisms, which are supporting with buying and buying and buying into this economy, but keeping the last instrument in place. That's the widespread belief. Now, the Federal Reserve could do not anything today and tomorrow, which would be great news, which would show a lot more stimulus into this economy. But the other side is that the when would the Federal Reserve start to raise interest rates, which could impact your stimulus? Most insiders think January of next year. I believe that's the date. But one report last night said maybe not for a year from now to the end of 2022 or early 2023. This would be categorically huge because this would mean a lot more stimulus than anyone, anyone had imagined. Now, what is very big for today and tomorrow is what happened this morning. The Commerce Department, before the start of, the, of Wall Street on Tuesday morning, released the February retail sales numbers, and they were not good. Wall Street was expecting that retail sales would increase about 0.4%, less than 1%. The number came in with a drop of 3%. Not a rise of 1% under the president, and not a drop of 1%, but a drop of 3%. This is really not good news. Now, January's numbers showed incredible growth, a 7.6% rise. And that was as the second stimulus check was landing in people's bank accounts. They went and pot used that $600 stimulus check and bought stuff in December and January. We heard that from the head of Walmart and Target. So how big will retail sales be in March when people get the $14 stimulus check and use that as well? We will see, but this is huge for stimulus. It shows that a $600 stimulus check for the second stimulus package really only had an impact on this economy for less than 30 days. You get a $600 stimulus check, what do you do? You go to Walmart and buy some stuff, said the head of Walmart. And what he said was bought, he said basically consumer staples like shampoo and soap. They did not buy TV sets like he said they did under the first stimulus package. But now we see that once they had used that $600 stimulus check, which, as you and I know, doesn't span you 30 days, retail sales dropped. So what's going to be shown in March? Well, March was show the tail end of people getting a $14 stimulus check because I know and you know that some of you got it on Friday, some of you got it on Saturday, but some of you still have not gotten it and we're already towards the end of March. If retail sales are still relatively sluggish in March when Americans are waiting for that stimulus check, then this will signal what Elizabeth Warren says, which is you need stimulus across the board. You really do. Now, Meantime, is another major report which impacts your third stimulus as well. A new report by Fund Manager Survey asked millions of Americans what is their deepest concern about this economy. And guess what? They did not say COVID. They said their deepest concern is inflation. 37% of respondents said that they are worried that the bond market will go into a, quote, temper tantrum and go through the roof and they're very worried that inflation could be hitting. Meantime, housing sales are not good. A new monthly index released this morning showed that single-family housing fell because interest rates are rising and material costs, including lumber, are through the roof. A new report from NAHAB chairman Chuck Folk said, though buildings, con builders continue to see strong buying traffic, recent increases on material costs, including lumber, have slumped. Elsewhere, I have more details on what's going on with the financial market, but let me get back to your third stimulus check and arrival dates. This is what you need to know. Millions of Americans received the stimulus check on Thursday, Friday. Others got it on Saturday. Some started getting it on Monday. In the case of Direct Express Card, the card that people receive their federal benefits on, viewers had still not received any stimulus checks as of Monday afternoon. We'll see throughout Tuesday, later today and tonight, if more sh start to show any Direct Express deposits. A lot of the major big banks have said they will release the funds on the 17th. Other big banks have said the 17th but have not said what the date signifies. It could mean that the funds are available, it could mean that they're processing, or it could mean they're processing for a few days from now. 
but the president's message is absolutely incredible great news. Ultimately, everyone wants a stimulus check within 10 seconds. You all want it within, you all wanted it a, a, a day ago or two days ago. But the message from the president today is perhaps the best message a person could say which is not only am I sending out stimulus checks, but I'm ensuring that you're getting them, and I'm ensuring that you get them within 10 days. Now understand, I have covered stimulus checks for a while, and I have never, ever seen all the stimulus checks of the entire US population land in 10 days. This is huge great news. And while you may want a stimulus check in one day or two days, the promise that everyone will get it within 10 days reassures everyone's concerns, especially those people who are tracking things and can't find it. Throughout the day, I went over the IRS tracking tool, which does not work. It is not an instrument that works. But how can you know what day your stimulus check is going to land? And what should you know about your stimulus check landing tomorrow? I have more about those details coming up. But first, here's a little bit about today's programming schedule and the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. It's a big eve evening on evenings at late as millions of Americans await that $14 stimulus check. The great news, if you're just joining me, is that 24 hours ago, the President of the United States addressed the country about the arrival of your stimulus check. In this video footage, the President addressed the arrival of the stimulus check. What date and when would you physically receive it? But on Tuesday, the president released a new video, and that new video was this one. And in this video, the president confirmed that stimulus checks will be arriving within 10 days. Not 100 days, but 10 days. This is incredible great news, because while you want the stimulus check yesterday or the day before, there's no longer a concern, will you receive it? You categorically receive it, and it'll be in people's bank accounts within the next 10 days. The video features a caption which appears under the Evening's LA logo, and in the, present, the, in the message, the president makes sure and clear that you understand your stimulus check is on the way. I'll have more about that in a second, but thank you for joining me as Evening's LA continues. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video and consider becoming a member. The member link is at the top of the chat and also in the pinned comment. We are back tonight again at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time with a hazard pay. That's our hit show, Chatterama Chat Fest. Now understand, in the third stimulus package, there is hazard pay. It is the earned income tax credit of $1,502 paid to essential workers. Throughout the history of time, hazard pay has taken a lot of different terms. I have, writ I have recorded nearly 300 hazard pay videos. And it's important to understand that hazard pay, depending on who you are, has a lot of different words for it. The earned income tax credit has always existed, but the President of the United States modified it to include more money for more essential workers during this pandemic. It's $1,502 for essential workers, that's the hazard pay language, and if you made less than $25,000 during the pandemic, it is something that you can get, and it's all really incredible. 
Now let's cut back to what else is going on. So the arrival of your $14 third stimulus check by direct deposit could happen today or tomorrow, but that 17th remains a real key day. Now, what I want to prepare you for, because I always prepare you for the worst, is that if you look at the 17th and you wake up at 1 a.m. on the 17th and you don't see a direct deposit, this is what I want you to know. First, banks do deposit clearings throughout the day. So you may not see something at 8 a.m., but may see it at 10 o'clock. You may see it at 12 o'clock and you may see it at 1 o'clock. This is the best indicator to know whether you are receiving a direct deposit on March 17th. One, you go on to the comments or the chat of any of the videos of this channel and people say who shop at your bank that they receive their stimulus check on the 17th. That is indication that you would also receive it on the 17th. Now, this is what you need to know. You may not receive it at the same time on the 17th, but you're certainly going to receive it on the 17th. Next, if you go on the chat and you see people from your bank not receiving it on the 17th, but your bank mentioned a 17th day, this is what I want you to go check. Check your online portal of your bank to see if it's processing on the 17th. Here's what to know, and no one else is going to tell you this information except me. If you go to your online portal on the 17th and it shows nothing processing, do not worry, because a lot of banks don't ever use the word processing. It just appears. I've seen a lot of banks, even the majors, where funds just appear without a processing prompt ahead of time. For example, you get a $100 rebate back from a merchant you bought something online. The 100 just appears. There's no processing for the $100. So don't be of alarm if you don't show something even processing on the 17th. Finally, if you chat with people in the videos of this channel on the 17th and they say, I haven't gotten anything, and it's the end of the day, then you want to check the 18th because that would likely be when it's going to land. Meantime, let me go over a new video released last night from Elizabeth Warren. This video is very important because in this video for Elizabeth Warren, she talks about why student loan debt needs to be forgiven. Student loan debt forgiveness is a Senate standalone bill. It is a Senate standalone bill of $50,000. Guess what happened yesterday? Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer again met with the president, urging him to forgive $50,000. Her message was very clear, that when you forgive it for one person, it helps the economy as a whole. Student loan debt forgiveness, again, is still a Senate standalone bill, but it could be you very soon. Let's see what her comments were. Loan debt means there are lots of people who aren't moving out from their parents' homes, lots of people who aren't buying their own homes, and one of the other things the data shows, lots of people who are not starting their own businesses. And all of those things hold back our economy. And I make that point because I'm sure there are lots of folks who are on this call tonight who don't have student loan debt. But here's the deal, even if you don't have student loan debt, you will be helped by seeing student loan debt canceled because it will help our economy. This is one of those things that doesn't have to go through Congress. The authority is already there in law for the president and his team, the administration, the secretary of education to cancel out this student loan debt. And uh, President Obama used it to cancel some student loan debt. President Trump used it to cancel some student loan debt. I want to see President Biden use it. If he would cancel $50,000 in student loan debt, it would make an enormous difference in the lives of tens of millions of Americans and help build our entire nation um, a stronger future going forward. So as you know, I'm all in on this one. And if we could persuade the president, we could do this one fast. What you see in this message is Elizabeth Warren's push for student loan debt forgiveness. And that push for student loan debt forgiveness is not novel. As she said, it's been done for a long time. But what she did in that video, which was not from yesterday, but a few days earlier, explain her similar push. Yesterday, she met with the president, and yesterday, she repeated the contents of what's in that video, namely that when you forgive student loan debts, it helps a lot of people. Now, here's something else that will help a lot of people. $10,200 of, of tax-free unemployment 
pay, received in the year 2020. This was first detailed yesterday on L Light, and this is not a story that's going away because I got to go over a couple things here. This is really huge news. If you're a member to the channel, I sent out a copy of this link so you could have it. This is singularly one of the most important factual items you need to know this week because it's really, really robust. What does this statement from IRS say? I'm going to read it to you, and I have the copy. The statement from IRS says that if you are worried about children receiving the $3,600 or $3,000, or you're worried about the earned income tax credit, which is the hazard pay, or you're worried about the child care tax credit, which is the $4,000 or $8,000, or you're worried about the $10,200 of tax-free for 2020, IRS is saying do not do not do a modif an amended tax return just yet. The IRS, the statement says the IRS strongly urges taxpayers to not file amended returns related to the new legislative provisions or to take unnecessary steps at this time. The message is very clear that there's a lot more that has to happen and that the IRS emphasizes that they should not file an amended return at this time until the IRS issues additional guidances. This is huge, basically saying that there's a lot more money coming to you and that they are trying to fix ways to do this without the need of a tax return. Without the need of a tax return is huge because ultimately a lot of viewers of this channel have been scrambling and wondering, do I file a mod attack five tax return? Do I tell, how do I get money that I haven't gotten? And those questions as well. Meantime, could President Biden be the next Jimmy Carter? A new question of economic data is circulating. In the last two days, there's reports that the president may, may surge the national debt by massive taxes upon the people. Moreover, by calling for $3,000 a year for 18 years for everyone 18 years or younger. This could cause massive increase of the debt. Jimmy Carter, in his one term, added $300 billion to the national debt, which at that time was only $700 billion. And this was the result of dealing with stagflation and inflation, two factors which President Biden is currently dealing with. President Biden, in the message of the video yesterday, hopes to add 7 million jobs. Jimmy Carter added 9.3 during his term, but yet did new, not win re-election because of the inability to deal with inflation amid massive spending. It's that sort of nexus of why the 10-year Treasury note is so important for this administration. If the 10-year Treasury note remains out of control, if the concerns about inflation continue, if we have massive inflation while still having job creation, President Biden will have big economic issues to deal with across the board. But the big news and the great news is that you're getting a Forte Law stimulus check. That message from the president, if you just join me late in this video, is the following. The president assures that millions of Americans will receive all their stimulus checks within 10 days. 10 days of when the bill became law, which was last Thursday. Within 10 days, whether you are paper check, electronic receipt, debit card, debit ex direct express card, or any other instrument, you're going to get a stimulus check. So ultimately, every minute counts. I know you want every second on point, but now the president has come out with a very clear message today that you're getting a stimulus check, and that stimulus check is coming within 10 days. But guess what? I'm not going to sit back. I'm not going to relax. I'm going to be tracking the check with you tomorrow as well. But for now, join me as Hazard Pay returns in 90 minutes from now at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and thank you for joining me on Evenings LI Light.